Let's move on and the government has suggested significant tweaks to the RBI's draft bank dividend circular released in January and a bats for value creation in bank stocks rather than high dividend payouts to shareholders. Sapna is joining you with us to tell us more details on that. Sapna? Well, the government has sought significant tweaks to the draft circular that the Reserve Bank had brought out uh, you know, to receive comments on its uh, dividend policy for banks. Uh, on three to four aspects, uh, the government has communicated its views. Number one, the government may not be totally in favor of uh, the capital adequacy ratio as one of the benchmarks that RBI has suggested uh, for dividend payouts. That's one. Second, also having a net NPA ratio of up to 6 odd percent in any given financial year for a dividend to be paid. Uh, the government feels that this may be too relaxed uh, a condition. Also, uh, you know, uh, the net NPA range uh, uh, moving within uh, a band of 1 odd percent. The government again thinks that this is way too relaxed. Uh, it should be a tighter band of 0.5 percent, uh, you know, for those dividend payout ratios to be worked out. Uh, so on both these two elements, these two important aspects that government that RBI has suggested as uh, the benchmarks for future dividend payouts, uh, the government has had uh, you know uh, basically differences. The third and last, uh, third but not the last, uh, return on assets. The government wants return on assets to be included as one of the criteria for declaration of bank dividends. And going forward, the government basically wants uh, you know value creation to be reflected in the bank stocks and not in terms of hefty payouts uh, in 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 the form of uh, dividends to shareholders. So uh, this is where the matter rests. We have not really heard anything from RBI so far uh, on these draft norms. We'll have to wait and watch and see if the regulator comes up with something further or not. Thank you so much for that. But on that note, we're going to take a short break. But after the break, we'll put the focus on Zomato as Zomato's board will be meeting on October 22nd to consider a proposal for fundraise. And we'll get you exclusive details on this story. So stay tuned in.